Today, our students return to school after the Christmas break to find the Bermuda Union of Teachers, the principals, the Department of Education, and the Ministry of Education united in one goal. That is, providing our children with a quality education. To improve communications between stakeholders, it has been agreed to have monthly meetings between the Department of Education and the BUT. Additionally, the Ministry of Education will have monthly public briefings to provide updates to the public. Today, I am pleased to be here with the Commission of Education for the first of these public briefings. The cross-section of stakeholders who have provided input for the development of Plan 2022 made it clear that they want students who are well prepared for post-secondary success and that the professionals charged with preparing them for this level of success be well trained and publicly accountable. Improvement in outcomes requires a commitment to the ongoing system and schools improvement. Quality teaching, reliable grading practices, quality support services, and ongoing training. Term one of the 2018-2019 year began with the alignment of system priorities with the strategies of the Bermuda Plan 2022 for education. These areas which were identified with the input and engagement with school leaders, school principals, and education officers focused on what is needed to bring about the shift in teaching practices and learning experiences and improved results. They are ensuring curriculum implementation for all subjects, implementing standards-based grading, provide multi-tiered systems of support for students, the facilitation of ongoing professional development, continuing with the development of policies to support these priorities and improving <coughs> responsiveness. Work in support of these priority areas commenced during term one, and over the next six months, the Department of Education will focus its efforts on quality instruction and quality services. We will also provide ongoing professional development and continue to develop policies to support these priority areas. Plan 2022 priority number one focuses on adaptive strategies that will increase academic rigor and student engagement. The implementation of standards-based grading is one of plans, Plan 2022's adaptive strategies that will benefit students by informing students and their parents a more accurate account of their performance. We know that quality instruction and fair and reliable grading practices will enable us to transform public education. This will enable us to improve student outcomes and achieve our mission of preparing students to, complete, to compete and contribute locally and globally. Yesterday, all primary and middle, middle level school staff, along with school principals, Department of Education leaders, and education officers participated in training for standards-based grading education. The purpose of this training was threefold. To reset the standard-based grading training to ensure a common understanding of the standard-based education was embedded to share information on the way forward, and to communicate the type of support that will be provided as we transition our system to a standard-based grading system. This training was coordinated and led by a steering committee of dedicated teachers and leaders. This committee, which was formed in early October 2018, consists of teachers, principals, and education officers who have taken the lead with recharting the course for the implementation of standard-based education with the support of the Ministry and the Department of Education. Also, a team of standard-based grading champions made up out of BUT member teachers was identified in early October 2018 and assigned to support their respective schools. The Ministry, the Board, and Department of Education pledge our support for the ongoing training and development of the Department of Education leaders, school leaders, te and teachers. And I take this opportunity to thank the Standard-Based Grading Steering Committee for working entirely, tirelessly to prepare for and conduct the training held yesterday. I also thank the committee for developing the plan which recharts our course for becoming a standard-based grading system, education system. Information about this plan will be shared with the community later this month. 
Starting this week, the Commission of Education will engage the department education officers, principals, and the BUT representatives in determining revisions to the rollout of grades and report cards for the period January to June 2018. Once an agreement has been reached, we will communicate the outcome to the parents and the community at large. The Ministry of Education Education team, the Ministry and the Department of Education teams who have engaged with principals and BUT representatives in ongoing meetings over the past two months remain committed to listening and working on these resolutions. In all that we do for education and with each decision that we make, we will focus on children and in, on ensuring that they have the knowledge, skills, and competencies for a successful future. Thank you. And I'll now invite the Commission of Education to join me at the podium for questions. Uh, good afternoon, Minister. Good afternoon. Uh, Ms. Richards. I um, wanted to start with a couple of questions um, uh, regarding uh, standards based grading, if I could. Um, Minister, maybe to, to you to begin. Um, Ms. Richards um, yesterday apologized to teachers for, quote, insufficient support, training, and communications, and for the impact it has had on principals, teachers, and schools um, with regards to uh, standards-based grading. I'm wondering if, if you agree with that uh, apology that was made yesterday. Since we've had communication with the BUT, with the teachers, and with the, the steering committee, it has been much more aware. We've been made much more aware of where the shortcomings of previous um, trainings that have been ongoing since 2015. The decision was made um, to reset the dial and start uh, fresh, and which started with our training yesterday, and we will continue with that plan. Um, likewise, Minister. Uh, Ms. Richards said yesterday that more training uh, was needed on the standard-based grading uh, system. Um, can you tell me about if that has been scheduled and what form that is going to take? As noted within the statement, there will be ongoing professional development that will continue for the rest of this year and will continue until we get to the point where standard-based grading is where it needs to be within our system. So when can parents then expect to see report cards for students? Um, as mentioned with inside the statement as well, um, conversations are taking place between the commissioner, uh, BUT, and officers within the Department of Education this week and next week, and an announcement will be made very soon on when those um, report cards will be released. Okay. And those, those report cards will use the new standard-based grading system? Commissioner? Once we conclude our discussions, uh, we will be able Sorry. Once we conclude our discussions with the key stakeholders, we'll be able to report out on the specifics as it relates to the report cards. Okay. Um, general question then for whoever wants to take it. Um, why was the standard-based pardon me, standard-based grading rolled out in the first place if, if teachers had not been properly trained on it? Was, was, the, was the thinking that teachers were up to speed on it and, and it was just after the flat reflection that, that recognized it wasn't up to par? Well, Paul, one thing that we can say is um, the training for this started back in October 2015, and it wasn't until um, May 2018 when we first met with the BUT and they expressed that there were some issues there. We did sit with them and we came up with a plan moving forward to be ready for September. And it wasn't until we got to September, that's when we had to really sit, pull back and say, you know, there's, we probably need to go in a different direction. But until that point, we always will continue moving forward with what it is that had been planned all along. And we just hope that uh, we were able to pull it off and do what we needed to do in September 2018. Um, if I could just transition um, to principles for a second. Um, just to confirm, the work to rule is, is still ongoing, is that correct? That is correct. Um, can you provide an update on, on how close uh, the two sides are, are to uh, ending the job action? Um, Commissioner? I can state at this time that we've held ongoing uh, discussions over the past uh, two months and that we will continue those discussions this month. Um, finally, I just wanted to transition to middle schools, if I could, Minister, for a second, and then pass on to one of sure. my colleagues. Um, 
In November, you said that uh, some of the members of the team um, who would be tasked with the plan to, I guess, um, phase out the island's middle mm -hmm. schools had been selected and that you would be announcing the team um, once the chairperson and remaining members were chosen. Um, I, I'm wondering, has this chairperson been selected at this point? At this point, we're still looking at members for the committee and the uh, process that I announced um, last year is still ongoing. Okay, any idea when this will be finalized, the chairperson and, and additional members? Once, once we're ready to make that announcement, that announcement will be made. Okay, appreciate that. Thank you, Thank you. both. Hi, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Richards and Mr. Rubain. Uh, are there any costs associated with the standard Bates uh, grading training? The training which took place yesterday, the costs would uh, we would have incurred were costs for the uh, renting of the facility at Southampton Princess. Do you have a price estimate on that? I do not have uh, the price for that available at this time. Okay. Um, uh, Mrs. Richards, uh, this is your first public appearance uh, since being appointed Commissioner of Education. Um, there, there have also been some uh, criticism uh, from teachers that your approach might be uh, quite uh, intense and they felt overwhelmed by some of the demands that they've uh, um, had with their positions. Do you agree with that criticism? What I would say is that um, I work for children. Uh, decisions and actions taken are always in the best interests of children and uh, I will work with school leaders and teachers and the union and officers to ensure that we that our children get the best. 